Hello friends, welcome to Coding Host YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you program to find second and third largest element in an array. So in this program, we only have to find second and third largest element, and we don't have to use any sorting algorithm. And the time complexity of this program will be big of n, and the space complexity will be big of one. So let's write the program. So in the program, first I will take three variables: int max one equal to zero and max2 equal to 0 and max3 equal to 0 and after that I will take a for loop for int i equal to 0 and i less than a dot length and i plus plus and in this for loop I will take some if statements if a of i is larger than max1 so in this I will write max 3 equal to max 2 and max 2 equal to max 1 and max 1 equal to a of i and after that I will take a else if statement else if a of i is larger than max 2 and and a of i is not equal to max 1 so in this I will write max 3 equal to max 2 and max 2 equal to a of i and after that I will take one more else if statement else if a of i is larger than max 3 and and a of i is not equal to max 1 and and a of i is not equal to max 2 and in this as if statement I will write max 3 equal to a of i and after that I will print our element so system dot out dot print and in this I will write second largest element equal to max 2 and I will write same for third largest element third largest element equal to max 3 so let's run this program so you can see in the output we are getting second largest element equal to 40 and third largest element equal to 30 so let's see how this program is working so you can see in the program I have taken a array in which we have five elements so I am writing here all the elements of this array and its indexes after that I have taken three variables max1 max2 and max3 and in these variables I have inserted values zeros I am writing here variables m1 m2 m3 and in these variables we have values zero after that I have taken a for loop for int i equal to zero so initial value of i is zero after that it will check that i less than a dot length so length of this array is 5 because it has 5 elements so i is 0 and it is less than 5 just true and we get inside our loop and here we have a if statement if a of i is larger than max 1 so at index i which is 0 element is 30 so 30 is larger than max 1 because in max 1 we have 0 so this condition is true and it will execute this statement so first it will insert value of max2 in the max3 variable so in the max2 variable value is 0 and in the max3 variable value is also 0 so it will remain as it is after that max2 equal to max1 so in the max1 variable value is also 0 and in the max2 variable value is also 0 so the value remain as it is after that max1 equal to a of i so in the max1 variable we will insert the value of index i which is 30 so now in the max1 variable we have 30 after that it will check next else if statement if a of i is larger than max2 so 30 is larger than max2 yes because max2 variable has 0 and and 
a of i is not equal to max 1 in max 1 variable we have 30 and in the index i element is also 30 so this condition is false and this statements will not execute after that it will check this next else statement a of i is larger than max 3 so yes 30 is larger than max 3 but after that the next conditions are that if a of i is not equal to max 1 so this statement is false because max 1 is 30 and index i element is also 30 so this statement is false and this statements will not execute after that i plus plus so now i will become 1 it will again check that i less than a dot length so 1 is less than 5 yes true and we again get inside our loop now here it will again check that else if a of i is larger than max 1 so at index 1 element is 10 and in the max 1 variable element is 30 so 10 is not larger than 30 so this condition is false and these statements will not execute after that it will check that else if a of i is larger than max 2 in the max 2 variable element is 0 and at index i element is 10 so this condition is true and after that it will check this condition if a of i is not equal to max 1 so in the max 1 variable element is 30 and at the index i element is 10 so 30 is not equal to 10 so this both conditions are true and it will execute this statement so first it will insert the value of max 2 in the max 3 variable so in the max 2 variable we have 0 so its value remain as it is and after that max2 equal to a of i so now in the max2 variable we have 10 after that it will check this next else statement so if a of i is larger than max3 at index i element is 10 and in the max3 variable value is 0 so this condition is true but if we check our next conditions you can see that a of i is not equal to max1 yes true 10 is not equal to 30 but a of i is equal to max2 because in the max2 variable element is 10 and at index i element is also 10 so this condition is false and this statement will not execute after that i plus plus so now i will become 2 and here it will again check that i less than a dot length so 2 is less than 5 yes true and we again get inside our loop and here it will again check that if a of i is larger than max 1 so at index 2 element is 50 and in the max 1 variable element is 30 so 50 is larger than 30 yes true and after that it will execute this statements so first in the max 3 variable we will insert the value of max 2 so in the max 2 variable we have 10 and now we will insert it in this variable and now it will get 10 after that max2 equal to max1 so now in the max2 variable we will insert the value of max1 so now max2 variable has 30 and after that max1 equal to a of i so now in this max1 variable we will insert this element at index i so now max1 variable has 50 inside it after that we will check our next else if statement if a of i is larger than max2 so at index i element is 50 and in the max2 variable element is 30 yes true 50 is larger than 30 but here you can see a of i is not equal to max1 so in the max1 variable element is 50 and at index i element is also 50 so this condition is false and this statements will not execute and after that it will check this next if statement but here you can see that a of i is equal equal to max 1 yes true because at index i element is also 50 and in the max 1 variable element is also 50 so this condition is false and that's why this statements will not execute and after that i plus plus so now i will become 3 and here it will again check that i less than a dot length so i is 3 and it is less than 5 yes true and we again get inside our loop and here it will check if a of i is larger than max 1 so at index 3 element is 20 and in the max 1 variable element is 50 
so 20 is not larger than 50 so this condition is false and this statement will not execute after that it will check this next if statement if a of i is larger than max 2 so in the max 2 variable element is 30 and at index i element is 20 so 20 is not larger than 30 so this condition is also false and this statements will not execute and now it will check this last else if statement a of i is larger than max 3 so here element is 20 and in the max 3 variable element is 10 and you can also see that in the max 1 and max 2 variable element is 50 and 30 so 50 and 30 are not equal to 20 so these conditions are also true it will execute this statement and now in the max 3 variable we will insert element at index i so now we have element 20 inside it after that i plus plus so now i will become 4 and here it will again check that i less than a dot length so 4 is less than 5 yes true and we again get inside our loop and here it will again check that if a of i is larger than max 1 so element at index 4 is 40 and in the max 1 variable element is 50 so 40 is not larger than 50 so this condition is false and this statements will not execute after that it will check this next if statement if a of i is larger than max 2 so in the max 2 variable element is 30 and here element is 40 so 40 is larger than 30 yes true so this condition is also true and now it will check this next condition a of i is not equal to max 1 so max 1 variable is 50 here element is 40 so 40 is not equal to 50 so this condition is also true and it will execute this statement so first we will insert the value of max 2 in the max 3 variable so max 2 variable is 30 and we will insert it in the max 3 variable we will get 30 in the max 3 variable and after that max 2 equal to a of i so now in the max 2 variable element is 40 and after that it will check this next else if statement if a of i is larger than max 3 so yes 40 is larger than 30 but max 2 is equal to a of i because it has 40 and here it is also 40 so this condition is false so because of that this statement will not execute and after that i plus plus so now i will become 5 and here it again check that i less than a dot length so i is 5 and it is not less than 5 so this condition is false and this for loop will break and in the last we will print our variables and in the output we will get second largest element equal to 40 and third largest element equal to 30 so you can see in this array we have traversed only once so that's why its time complexity is big of n and the space complexity of this program is big of 1 because we have not taken the array of the same size so if we take array of the same size for this program in that case space complexity will be big of n but instead of that here we only have taken three variables which are constant space variables so that's why its space complexity is big of 1 so this is how we can write a program to find second and third largest element in an array in java thank you